welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a tutorial on this look right here. Um, yeah, I had no idea what I was going to do today. All I know is that I wanted to do something dramatic and I've been so excited that it's fall and I've been so inspired um, by all these different makeup looks and all these different fall colors. I decided to do a dramatic fall makeup look for you guys today. So if you guys want to know how to get this look, just keep on watching. Alrighty guys, first things first, I'm going to clip in my hair and then I'm going to take my MAC Nourishing Waterproof Pro Long Work uh, Foundation and I'm going to be applying it with a damp beauty uh, sponge. And then I'm going to prime my eyelids with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I love this stuff. I've been using it for many years now and a little bit goes a very, very long way and that tube is lasting me for like ever. So I'm just going to apply that with my fingers. And next I'm going to be taking soft brown with my MAC 224 brush and I'm just going to blend that throughout the crease as a transition color. Next I'm taking Brown Script by MAC and I'm going to use this inside my crease and with my 217 brush and I put a little bit too much there so I'm just going to blend it out a little bit. Um, I'm just going to blend that into my crease and blend it a little bit up and out. Now I am taking um, Swiss Chocolate by MAC also. I'm having a MAC day today. Um, and I'm going to be applying that all over the lid on both of my eyes, obviously. <laughs> oh, and I was using a Morphe M210 brush. And with my MAC 224 blending brush, I'm just going to blend all these colors together just so that I have a nice um, blend and no harsh lines, obviously. Now I'm taking Handwritten by MAC and I'm going to layer that on top of the Swiss chocolate. And I started out by on the outer corner of my eye and um, I decided that I was going to take it all the way in. And with my MAC 224, I'm blending it out. And now I'm taking Wood Winked by MAC also. And I'm just going to apply that just to the center of my lid just so I can have a little bit of sheen on the center and it's not so flat. And I'm using the Morphe M210 brush to do this. And I'm taking my 217 brush that I use with Brown Script and I'm just going to blend out that um, color a little bit more. Now with rice paper, I'm going to use that to highlight my brown bone. And I think that's a Sephora flat shader brush. I'm not sure, but I'll leave it down in the um, down bar below. Now I'm taking um, a black shadow. This is from Anastasia's Shadow Couture palette. I just use the black, but you can really just use any black that you want. And I'm using the brush from that palette to apply this because I wanted to add some um, depth into my eye, so I decided to add some black. Um, and I'm just going to put that in the outer V and deepen up that crease a little bit. Now I'm taking my favorite eyeliner. Um, this is a liquid liner. It's from NYC and it's my favorite liquid liner ever. It just goes on so smoothly and so easy to use. But if you're not used to using like a brush, then this might be a little bit difficult for you, but as with everything, practice makes perfect. So I'm just going to line my eyes with this and then create my and now I'm just applying mascara. And with a pencil brush, this is the MAC pencil brush. I forgot the number, but I'll put it in the down bar below. And Mylar, also for MAC. I'm going to be applying this on the inner corner of my eye just to get a little bit of light in there so that it's not so dark in there. Now with my favorite concealer, you guys know this. This is the Revlon Age Rewind Concealer. This is in the shade Light. I'm going to be using this to conceal and highlight um, under my eyes and a little bit on my forehead on the bridge of my nose. I'm going to blend that out with a little beauty sponge. You know the drill.
And now taking my Laura Mercier, I'm going to bake and set that under eye area. As per usual, I feel like I really need this step. Um, and now I'm going to finish the rest of my eye. Um, I'm going to be taking Handwritten, again by MAC. I'm going to be using a flat shader brush. I believe this is from MAC. I will put the number down below. I totally forgot what all the numbers of these brushes are, but I promise I'll put them down below. And I'm going to line my eyes, or line my waterline with Engrave by MAC. And with brown script, I'm going to further smoke out that under eye. And I'm going to smoke out that handwritten just a bit. And I don't take my um, under eye shadows too far down because I feel like it makes me look tired. So I just keep it a little bit higher up, but I do blend. I just took a 217 and I blended that out more. And now I'm taking a um, Waterproof mascara, same as the one I used on top, who put on my bottom lashes. And I'm just going to sweep away that bake and all that powder with a Sigma brush. And now I am bronzing with Max Gimme Sun and the e.l.f. Complexion Brush. I love this brush for this because it's just nice and fluffy and it just, you know, gives a good, nice little bronzy. It's just easy to bronze with this. So I like using it. Now with my Kat Von D Shade Light Eye Palette, I'm going to be taking the darkest contour shade in the palette and my NARS Eda brush and I'm going to use that to sculpt out my cheekbones and give me a little shape if you know what I mean. Yes girl, get that contour. I prefer powder um, contours over liquid contours. I just feel like they're easier to use and it doesn't take forever to do. Now I'm taking my House of Lashes Pixie Luxe Lashes and I'm going to keep them like, on my eyeballs. These are like some of my favorite lashes. I love that they're so wispy and they're just so full of beauty. Now I'm taking my Morphe blush palette and I'm using the peachy shade there. It's the first color in the palette. I'm going to knock some of that color off my brush because it is super pigmented and I'm going to apply that on my cheeks with a MAC uh, blush brush. Again, I will put the number below. I'm just going to pat it on my cheeks ever so slightly. And now for the lip color, I decided to use a Lumiere by ColourPop. I love this color. It's like the perfect mauve shade ever. So I'm using the um, lip liner that goes with it. It's also called Lumiere. I'm just going to line my lips with that and then I'm going to fill in my lips with the lippy stick. And then the very last step to this look is, of course, you got to add your highlight. you got to glow, girl. So I'm going to use the Champagne Pop and the Morphe M504 brush to apply this on the tops of my cheeks. And I'm going to use my fingers to put on the tip of my nose and the bridge. And then the look is done. I hope you guys like this look. If you do, please don't forget to subscribe. I will talk to you soon. Bye! Look at the camera, not at the viewfinder.